All right, hop day, everybody. I'm Jason Salas. Welcome to another episode of KU News Extra. There is big news coming out from our friends at IT&E as the fine folks there have put together a network and we will tell you what kind it is and how fast it goes later on in the show. Plus, we're telling you about another 5K here on the island and how you can get involved. But first, we are talking about the inaugural Veterans Health Conference and my good friends Sarah Thomas Nedadog from Westcare and Al Silverio with Public Health are here and we are talking about that. Hafadeh to you both. Hafadeh to you too. Okay. This is a fascinating topic to me, Sarah, and we'll start with you because when people tend to think of veterans um, within a military context, they, they think of people that are, you know, 65 and over, older, and they think of people that maybe served in Vietnam or the Gulf War and everything like that. But by definition, a vet can be somebody that, you know, a 23-year-old kid that just came back from deployment. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think we're just all uh, learning what that definition of veteran is. Is really anyone who has um, been sworn in and has served any time in the U.S. military service. So we are um, on Guam, we're very patriotic, Jason, mm -hmm. and we predict that there's some 12,000 veterans mm -hmm. on Guam that have spent any amount of time in the U.S. military in all eras. Mm -hmm. So we have quite a number of young folks, as you have said, and we also still have uh, World War II and even Korean vets and Vietnam vets on our island. Mm -hmm. Now, Al, let's talk about, because you are from public health, let's talk about some of the health implications. And, you know, um, so when we deal with veterans, you may have, you know, like uh, some people who are dealing with, you know, uh, maybe injuries or afflictions that they maybe suffered during their service to the country, or it's just like uh, staying physically fit. Is that correct? That's correct. And when we talk about veterans, they also represent one of the more underserved and underrepresented communities on the island. And we want to make sure that public health here isn't just for the community and the civilians, but also for the veterans who need our services. So there could be injuries that happen after they left, for example. And being veterans and having that status also helps us help them in um, addressing long-term problems such as post-traumatic stress disorder syndrome, and we can make referrals to our mental health partners and behavioral health partners as well when we do a diagnosis with them. It's also interesting because when you think of vets, again, looking at the younger side of of the spectrum is these are people that by nature of the job that they do, you know, serving in the military, they're used to being very physically fit all the time. You know, they do right. physical training all the time. So when they come back here, is that part of uh, your program and everything to make sure that they, they have, you know, places where they can, you know, maintain their fitness and their diet as well? That's our theme this year for the inaugural Veterans Health Conference. Excellent. Is pump up your health, embracing body, mind, and soul. And the whole idea is to look at the, the person, the veteran, and their family in a holistic fashion, looking at them, how they're doing physically, with their uh, physical health, how they're doing readjusting uh, to uh, the community, coming back to work, to their families, and um, into society, and seeing how they're faring there. And then, of course, the spiritual aspect that helps, gives them the energy to continue the good things that they do. So yes, it's taking a look at where they're at right now in their health, and some are doing very well in maybe the physical health part. They're still carrying on their physical exercise every morning, or doing whatever that they have done to help you know keep themselves in shape. But maybe they're not um, spending as much energy looking at their uh, behavioral health, their mental health, their emotional health, and their spiritual health. And all of those things are important to have an overall healthy person. So we're very happy that uh, we're able to sponsor with a variety of our partners, uh, West Care Pacific Islands and the Department of Public Health and Social Services, the Office of Minority Health Resource Center, Guam Community Colleges come in, Guam Visitors, uh, Bureau has uh, jumped in and also you know the Guam State Office on Veterans Affairs uh, John and Pinko and his crew as well as um, Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center so we have a variety of nonprofit and governmental entities that are coming together to offer a very comprehensive agenda on Friday and um, as you said it's the inaugural it's the first time we've ever brought all these veterans together Jason there's some 15 um, veteran organizations on Guam mm -hmm. and so they've never really come together to focus on one particular thing that can help them um, and their members become healthier and more productive um, as they continue on 
their life's journey. So as you said, some of them are as young as their 20s, mm -hmm. and we have some that are in their 70s and mm -hmm. 80s. So. Well, you certainly hit on the trifecta of you know, mind, body, and spirit. Now, uh, last question before we go to commercial breakout is um, there's a lot that's been said about the services specifically for caring for you know, you know, the other side of the equation and the older vets and the ones that's maybe served 20 or 30 years and the ones that may have uh, suffered injuries, you know, like during combat or, you know, just, you know, from prolonged exposure to, you know, in, in their service, you know, what have you. Um, how do you hope this conference will help to alleviate some of those concerns that we've been having with, you know, like a health care for our aging vets and, you know, the ones that made a career out of military service? Yeah, so that's a great question. What we're doing uh, is we embed culturally and linguistically appropriate services into our services of public health. That means taking into consideration gender and age as veterans who did not have cancer or diabetes or obesity as concerns at an earlier age now find that they may be creeping up. And there are ways to frame services as appropriate for them so they are responsive and they engage in that. So we tailor our services for the veterans and for other people in the community who have specialized needs. So that's what we're trying to promote in this conference as well. All right, well, real quick, let's get uh, where it's going to be and if there's any cost to attend, and is, is anybody able to attend? We, uh, we have 200 slots, and for those that are interested, they must register online in, uh, before Friday, July 18th, uh, this, this week, this week Friday, and they need to go to guamveterans.com. And uh, if they have any problems registering, they can call us up at 472-0218 or 0219, that's West Care Pacific Islands, and we'll register them online. But everyone should do that. We have 200 slots available uh, right now. And as of this morning, we had close to 100. So we're halfway there. All right. And we'd like to encourage veterans and their families, and they're going to be, I think, they're going to really enjoy the variety of presenters as well as exhibitors that are going to be there to help promote health, as well as to advise them on the variety of benefits that are available to vets and the services that our community has to offer them. All right, very well. So that's going to be the 18th on Friday from 8 to 5 at the Westin. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank All right, you. stay tuned. We are back with more show after this.